Welcome to the Friday Phoenix's special midterms 2022. This is why we can't have nice things edition. Now there's one man who is looming large over the 2022 midterms, Donald Trump. This week, Donald Trump got raided by the FBI. We have live footage of the reaction from Twitter. Now, I'm obviously a very impartial journalist, but I do have to admit this FBI raid has me and the Friday Phoenix News team feeling some kind of way. Someday, when our future soul and the world it burns, I will feel a glow just thinking of Getting raided by the FBI. Oh, it's lovely that they cracked your safe. Tried to flush the dust. Now the feds are here. Oh, you getting, getting raided by the FBI. major Republican to side with the DOJ on going ahead with the raid was former New Jersey Governor Chris Christie. Jesus, you know the world's ending when Chris Christie is on the right side of history. Naturally, Trump supporters were upset about the raid, with many ready to declare a quote, civil war. And I sympathize with them, I really do. Imagine you buy a gun to protect yourself from government tyranny and you're just hanging out with your gun going, man, I hope they do a tyranny soon so this gun purchase isn't a waste. I'm just saying, for some people, the solution to every problem is violence, the way that to Joanna Gaines, the solution to every problem is more shiplap. And more bad news for the former president, an appeals court has said that Donald Trump's tax returns must be turned over to the House. Oh, and it looks like those records have been deleted. A Trump spokesman described this as a totally unforeseeable oopsie. Man, these guys are so bad at document storage. In addition to getting raided by the FBI and losing his tight grip on his tax returns, Donald Trump was also deposed by the New York Attorney General this week, where he pled the fifth like an innocent little lamb. Or, as Fox News reports it, Hunter Biden's laptop is storing all of Hillary's emails. Ron DeSantis, who along with Greg Abbott, is up for re-election in the 2022 midterms. However, we all know they're also eyeing the White House in 2024. But which one is the more conservative choice? With us today to discuss are the press secretaries for Greg Abbott and Ron DeSantis. Welcome both of you. Ah, uh, yes, thank you for having me. Glad to be here. Now, Team DeSantis, I'm gonna start with you. Why do you think Governor DeSantis is the most conservative conservative? Ah, uh, yes, Governor DeSantis has brilliant ideas, like making insulin free for all billionaires, yes. Would it also be free for poor people? Oh no, he would actually raise the price for them. Well, that's all well and good, but to really boost the economy, Governor Greg Abbott is prepared to require an 80-hour work week for anyone who doesn't own a yacht. All right, I see you're playing hardball. How about this one? Every time a baby is born, and trust me, these babies will be born whether they like it or not, you have to check the box denying hetero Christian sexuality as well as a donation to the RNC. <laughs> I think I got you there, good sir. Oh, that's all you got? <laughs> that's cute. We're taking back women's credit cards and they can no longer drive. Okay, I see. How about this one? Let me throw it in the air. Half off on Botox for mistresses on Tuesdays. <laughs> Shit, that's a good one. You know, maybe we should team up. Imagine the absolutely monstrous shit we could do together. <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. DM me on Truth Social. Done! I'll see you around, girl! I'll see you around! Looking forward to it. Oh God, this was a really bad idea. One person who is sadly not up for re-election in the 2022 midterms is Senator Ted Cruz. But our own Chef Austin has a culinary tribute to everyone's least favorite senator. Hello, and welcome to the Phoenix Kitchen. 
I've got something real special for you all today. In order to celebrate Texas's very favorite Cuban-Canadian immigrant, Ted, ask me about your private life cruise. Now to show Ted all the love we genuinely feel for him, we're making roasted blobfish. And to properly roast this creature from the depths, we're gonna need some of his very favorite things. To start with, oil. Lots of oil. Not that kind. And then we're gonna need some lemons. Enough to make him really pucker. And compliment six ounces of what's probably Natty Light. And how about some good old fashioned elephant garlic? And finally, what the hell, a whole bunch of pork. Now, I need to level with you. I couldn't find any of the fish. I looked everywhere. I checked every freezer in Texas, and I couldn't find any, but one fella told me that there's one big one for sale all the way down in Cancun, and I was just about to hop on a plane and go down there and get it. This is an emergency, after all. But my daughter told me that I've got responsibilities here and I need to take care of them, so... Supply chain, huh? Yeah, we've all been there. I guess that does kind of make this whole thing a big, expensive waste. Yeah, kind of like tax cuts for the rich. Well, sorry. Back to you in the studio, Andrea. Wow, the emptiness I feel is very reminiscent of the 2016 election. Thanks, Chef Austin. Now, just a few short weeks ago, the Democrats looked pretty screwed going into the 2022 midterms. Real screwed, like nominated for an AVN award screwed. But they passed the Inflation Reduction Act and the CHIP bill, and then Republicans handed them a victory by being assholes to veterans and diabetics. The cherry on top is the latest rosy jobs report. It's great news for Democrats, but it also means employees are holding all the cards. So how can they stick it to the man? Let's ask our career coach, Jen Haston. Hi everyone, it's Jen. Today's question comes from a burned out employee. Dear Jen, I was just denied a raise after months of working extra hours. And what's worse, they said I can't go on vacation due to cutbacks. What should I do? Great question. Here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna go on vacation. Just leave right now. Go to the airport, get on a plane, doesn't matter which one. Go ahead and get sloppy drunk on your flight. Then once you land, send your boss a voicemail. Hey, numb nuts, I'm on vacation. That means I'm not available, dickwad. I can assure you that when you get back to the office, your vacation will have been extended indefinitely. And that is how you set appropriate work boundaries. Enjoy your time off. That wraps up the Friday Phoenix's special Midterms 2022, This Is Why We Can't Have Nice Things edition. Donate to Beto five or six times and we'll see you next week.